popping, YouTube family. It's your boy the White. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Eyes. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now, today, I'm actually getting a chance to probe off into a popular fragrance house within the fragrance community, and that of Zaroff. And one of the real, real popular fragrances that most people talk about, but I'm finally getting a chance to get my nose on and give my two cents. If you'd like to figure out which one, keep it locked. Well, let's get down to business. Today, I'm actually getting a chance to give my two cents on my guy, TOTG Reviews, information on the screen. His signature scent, it's actually his second scent, so I didn't get a chance to get my hands on that first one. But now that I got this one in my collection, it's time for me to give you my uh, judgment on what I think about it. First off, one thing I can say about Zaroff, the, the house of Zaroff, they send you your stuff stacked. You might order your stuff on Monday and look in the mailbox on Wednesday. It might be out there. By Thursday, it's for sure there. So I got to give a shout out to George, the owner of Zaroff, and, and how professional their packaging came, how fast it came. I made my order, and before I could blow my nose, it was here. This is the type of box presentation, the big box presentation that they send you. Nice detail to it, name of the house and stuff like that. And it's well protected within this box and packaged correctly. That'd be the first thing. Now, let's get to this box presentation. Most amazing box that I've probably got in my entire collection. If it ain't as number two to something that I potentially got on the way, but that's a whole other conversation for another day. This is made out of like a velvet material. Awesome. Perfect colors. And with this colors, it's called Evening Mystique, by the way. And this is like the sequel to his first fragrance, Business Over Pleasure. Pleasure. And within this color scheme, you can also see that he has a, like a New Orleans type of setup because that's where he's from. So just a box presentation alone, I would have to say, is like top tier. And he poured a lot of time and effort into it, and that's what I like. He didn't just charge you some money for the fragrance and then you don't get any detail and you don't get any heart and any like blood, sweat, and tears into it. Now, here's that bottle presentation. One of my favorite bottles in my collection. And how they do their top even. They have it where you can turn it to pull it off so you don't even wrestle with it to get it on and off. Mm, got to get out of spray there. Excellent itemizer by the way, might I add. And with the bottle, you have a plate that has the coloration on there. On the bottom, you've got the House of Zaroff on there, what it says. And on the bottom of your box presentation, you get the ounces and the uh, product information. Let's go with that note breakdown. This is a 25% parfum extract concentration. So the oil that are using this and the oil concentration is top tier. So it definitely will stick around and I'll give you the performance here in a minute. Top notes of angelica root, coriander and carrot seed, which I don't really have a lot of experience with carrot seed, but I can actually smell it in there to be honest with you to not even have much experience with it. Your heart notes or mid notes would be cypress, incense, juniper berries, Florentine iris, which is the top tier version of iris versus just having some iris in a fragrance. These, This is the fragrance note of iris that is drawn from the top tier version of it. And you got rose suppressants. That's a new one for me. Base notes of albinum, resin, cedar, myrrh, vetiver, patchouli, musk, and orchinox, which is another new one that I've actually just now getting some experience with. This is the card that comes with it. There's actually two other fragrances within the uh, content creators collection of fragrances, 2.0 version of it. And they have the notes on the back of the card. So all of the stuff that they package with your uh, order and deliver to you is, is awesome. I, I mean, I can't give more props to the scenario, but what does this scent smell like? Now for me, when I get out of those top notes, I definitely get the coriander spice so it's a very very spicy resinous scent to say the least but to me this is like for the personality that you see within ross and the fact that he works out and he's he, he 
uh, carries itself as a manly man, and, and that's still what's going on with this fragrance. But to me, this kind of brings out the romantic side of a scent. To me, this is like date night in a bottle. When you actually go somewhere nice and you take your lady somewhere nice or y'all out of town, y'all traveling, it's anniversary night, this is the one you want to spray on. Now, to me, this fragrance right here will actually reign supreme in the fall, winter time, but you can pull it off year-round on cooler nights, especially like I'm saying with date nights. Uh, the perfumer for this one here is Claude Deer, and it's somebody that Ross knows really, really well. And to me, they actually knocked it out of the park with this one right here. Uh, longevity for this one, when I spray this thing on, it gives me six, seven strong hours of performance before it even remotely close to become a skin scent. And then for the next two or three hours, which will push you into that nine hour range, it begins to sit closer to the skin, but it's not a crazy projector, but it's one of those that waft really, really well in the, uh, in the air and it sticks around for a long, long time, hence the high oil concentration being at that 25%. I would have to say this one right here, as far as a rating for me, scale from one to 10, I give it a strong nine. This thing right here performs amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I spent like 165, 170-ish for it. But like I said, you got top tier bottle creation, uh, presentation you got top tier box presentation they package it and get it to you quick when you make your order best believe when they tell you they send you that email telling you that your your uh order is on the way that's exactly what it is my only regret for this fragrance is the fact i didn't get it faster ross knows what he's doing when it comes to picking out notes picking out a uh oil concentration and just actually putting his personality in a bottle. And that's exactly what you got with this thing right here. I definitely plan to probe further off into this house and get some other fragrances. Not for sure if I'll get a chance to get the other two fragrances within um, this Zed Creators uh, edition. But uh, I definitely plan to get a couple of samples so I can sample those other two fragrances and give y'all a review on those as well. And by that time, I'll get a chance to spend some more time with them, see if they full bottle worthy. But this one here, like I said right before, top tier. Everybody, y'all should shoot to that Zaroff website. And it's, uh, is it on here somewhere? Yes, it is. I'll make sure I get the close-up of it so y'all can see that. But go to that website and order you one of these right here. Because you'll have one of the most unique, date night, grown man, uh, versatile sense that you can have in your collection and like I said as you can see by this presentation it's top tier but that's my two cents peace